Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today's video comes to you from HEB in Texas. It is a grocery store and they've got some repacks on the shelves. This footage is provided by one of our moderators, The Mix, and he found these baseball repacks here with 2024. They're $7 a piece. He picked up a bunch for me, sent them my way, and we're gonna open them up right now. Hit that subscribe button, let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, we've got new repacks here from HEB, and what makes this interesting is, look at this. There's 2024 Top Series 1 in these packs. You don't ever see that. With repacks, they're usually trying to get rid of their leftover inventory from last year or the year before. Like, you might find a bunch of 2022, 2021 packs in those Gems of the Game repacks that are out at Walmart right now, but you never see the actual product that is on the shelves right now which series one is the flagship product that's out there still right now on the shelves series two doesn't come out until june 28th so kind of weird that they put those in there and the price point on this was not bad just seven dollars per pack you get a bonus card plus two packs in each one of these and they are put out by the fairfield company now fairfield has had some pretty decent repacks in the past i am most fond of the hot corner box you remember that one that you could find at target so Fairfield does a good job. Sometimes, I think this is a pretty good price point. Let's check these packs out right now. All these packs are going to go to Christopher Johnson. I asked if any of my Patreon members would be interested in this video. He grabbed the spot. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what we have here. There's going to be one bonus card per box, which would be the face card. I don't even know why they would think that putting a, a common in would really make you want to buy it. But... There's two packs in here, and it looks like we got have a retail pack. You can tell by that little hanger uh, on the top, and this would be a blaster pack of Series 1. So we'll be opening some packs today and seeing what we can find. And this video was made possible by The Mix, who is one of our moderators. If you're familiar with our auctions, he's the official auction commissioner over there, makes all the official calls. And speaking of auctions, we'll be live tonight on Whatnot a little after 9 p.m., so check it out. I've also got a whatnot offer of the day for you that I'll show you at the end of the video. There's a security sensor in here. This is actually the first time I've ever opened, I think, the retail packs. You can buy 12 slash 24 pack boxes, 12 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. At least that's what they are for Bowman. Maybe they're 14 24s for, the, for these, but not too bad. I feel like a box of those is probably at least $80, so probably like $3 a pack. So this isn't a bad price at all. Here's the next pack up. We've got former pirate Michael Chavis on the top. Looks like we've got Series 1 again. So maybe they're just so desperate to get rid of Series 1 blasters. Have you thought about that? Like, they were trying to sell the blasters for $15 a piece at Walmart, and they were selling slowly, but it looks like now they've taken additional blasters and uh south really kid uh, his first home run of the season the other day against the pirates but now they've taken the blaster packs and put them into these so mj holdings trying to get rid of theirs by selling for 15 fairfield trying to get rid of theirs by putting them into these mystery packs at heb so for 2023 tops we are looking for adley rushman gunner henderson both off to great seasons so far. Adley hitting over 300. Gunner up there near the top of the league in home runs. I think he has 12. Kyle Tucker, first place right now coming into today. He had 13. So Kyle Tucker, I don't think he's been extended yet by the Astros. It's going to cost them a bit more if he keeps it up. It looks like, by the way, some of these are not all going to be retail packs, by the way. These are going to be the blaster packs. You can tell because there's no H. I highly doubt that you would get any hobby packs in here. Fairfield, you know, they stock all the shelves at Target and Walgreens and places like that. So they're not stocking hobby boxes, which is why in these Fairfield repacks, you're just going to get the retail the whole way down blaster boxes i don't know where they get the uh i don't know where they get these face cards from maybe they just open a couple blasters and just randomly choose to put some on there it's not like any of these cards are super special i'm not seeing any parallels on the on the front there are some rookies though like here we have davis martin two packs plus a bonus the bonus is the free card 
So far, it's been all of the same collation. Just a pack of 2024 and a pack of 2023. This is a retail pack in this next one. We'll see if we can get any hits at all for Christopher. Christopher, I'm going to feel bad if you don't get a single hit. So if you don't get a single hit at all, no numbered cards or anything, I'll take care of you. I'll give you an extra pack of something good. So far, it's slow going. But this isn't bad. Like, if you've got kiddos, $7, pick them up some packs of cards if they're into cards. I feel like whenever we go to Walmart, my kids... They, they want like a, a candy bar or something. Now like a, they pick out like a king size Reese's peanut butter cup. It's like a dollar eighty eight for for a candy bar now. It's crazy. I remember it used to be thirty three cents at Walmart maybe like twenty years ago, something like that for a regular candy bar. May, may have been seventy nine eighty nine cents for a king size. So if you've got a couple kiddos, you can just grab one of these and have them split them up, or you could just grab them the candy bar still. Here we go with this next one. It's going to be the Mariners. Team Card Mariners doing pretty well this year. They're in first place despite J-Rod not doing too much. He's got two home runs right now. He hit one on Mother's Day. I don't know if he's hit one since. I used to check J-Rod's stats every single day to see how he was doing. Kind of stopped doing that. Bobby Witt's one that I'm interested in right now. Bobby Witt is currently leading the American League in wins above replacement. He's got a 3.0 coming into today, which is great. He's on pace for double-digit a war, which probably would give him the MVP award if he keeps it up. The National League and overall in baseball, it's Mookie Betts, the 3.4. Betts looking like he might win the MVP. Take away from Shohei Otani, who really can't do much else besides hit. So Betts can field and add additional value there. And he is very valuable, Mookie Betts. The dude can pretty much play anywhere. He's a gold glove outfielder and a very serviceable Middle infielder as well. Here's Oswald Peraza rookie card on the front of this next one. We've got a retail pack of Series 1 from 2024. and Maybe we'll have our first gold card here, potentially. And we do have it. Of course, it's Julio Arias, but at least it's something. I don't even know. Is that card even sleeve-worthy? Will we ever see Jose or Julio Arias ever again? Juan Soto, who, by the way, if you missed it, Juan Soto has earned the distinction of the cover boy for Series 2. So he graces the cover in his Yankees uniform. I was thinking it was going to be Shoei Otani, but then the more I thought about it, there's Reese Olsen, a gold rookie card right there. Not too bad for you, Christopher. You got Sadon Raffaella in there, a blue. That's a pretty good pack right there. And Andrew McCutcheon had a home run today in the Pirates' blowout loss in Milwaukee this afternoon. Here we go with this next one. I forget what I was talking about now. Lost my train of thought. Let's save on Raphael. It's a pretty sweet card. Here's Caleb Killian with this next one. As we continue through for Christopher, let me move your name tag there. Coming up tomorrow, we have Throwback Thursday. We got a weird rack pack box from 2012. Looking for Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. There's Leo Piguero, blue, so that'll be fun. I paid $300 for that box at the card show a couple weeks ago. We'll get that one opened up. We also have a Bowman HTA, the $650 boxes that uh, pre-video is selling on Patreon right now, and I am selling them for $100 less than everybody else. I've got them for $550. There is Kyle Schwarber because I was able to get them at that price, so I figure I'd just pass it along. They're up to six fifty now. Is it seems like I guess people have been hitting big big names out of there. Walker Jenkins and Dylan Cruz and George Lombard and the like, so speculation that the uh, HTA choice is where all the big hits went. Here we go with this next one. Jumbo has had uh, some pretty big hits for Bowman. I like opening Bowman a lot. Looking forward to getting back to that. We did some last night with the blaster boxes. Didn't hit anything crazy. Here's Chris Bryant, 89. It's going to be a nice foil card right there. A little foil board, Chris Bryant. And nothing else going on in this next one. Besides the Luis Robert from the hapless White Sox. I guess he did split a double header yesterday against the Nats. All right, next one up, we've got 
Jordan Alvarez in there. Byron Buxton. Nestor Cortez, who's also the cover boy of the next pack we're going to be opening up. And Corbin Burns. So I don't really know much about HEB other than they're in Texas. And when Safina and I went to Texas back in, what was that, February, we went down to Houston. We checked an HEB for baseball cards because I heard that they sold them there. They came up empty. Could not find any. There's the 88 Tops, Nestor Cortez. So I guess it might be periodically that they get cards on the shelf. But at least now you know where to look. Look in the checkouts. If you want to grab these, very nice. Ellie De La Cruz for Christopher. I'm watching his stolen base totals. He's at 26 right now. He's on pace for 100. He would be the first player to reach 100 steals since Vince Coleman, Ricky Henderson, that era. There's another Henry Davis. And if he can do it with power, too, I think he's got nine home runs. I would love to see. We heard so much about Ronald Acuna Jr., 40-70 last year. Like, that was, like, the biggest deal ever, right? Won the MVP award. It's not out of the realm of possibility playing in that little band box of a park in Cincinnati that if Ellie De La Cruz can stay healthy, he may be a 40-100 player, the only one ever in history. And who knows if that would ever happen ever again. You'll see his cards skyrocket through the roof. Of course, he needs to cut down on the strikeouts, put the ball in play. And uh, I don't know. Right now, it's looking like he's right kind of on pace for just over 100. And for home runs, he is a little bit under the 40 home run pace. Currently, we're a little over a quarter of the way through the season. I think most teams have played maybe about, what, 42 games right now. The quarter point would be 40 games 40 point something but he is uh we'll see we'll see what he can do there's christopher morrell who's been showing good power this year again and alex kirloff also in there 14 total packs here looks like they're all going to be the same collation with one series one from 2024 and then 2023 as well it's josh naylor with the Guardians, they're a first place team. Adley Rushman, that's a good one right there. We'll toss that in a sleeve for Christopher. His 88 Adley Rushman rookie card. Next, we got Nolan Gorman on the front. It is a chrome baseball. Stars of MLB. This Stars of MLB, the only time I like seeing them is when they're chromes or if they are autos in the signature series, which we've maybe found three of those so far in signature series. And they've all been one-of-ones. So it's always good when you see one of those coming out of Signature Series. And speaking of Signature Series, we have a new release video coming up. I'll be putting the cases on sale probably tomorrow. Signature Series Retired Player Edition is back. It's being released a little earlier on the schedule. Last year, I remember they released it, I think, in August. I remember actually going to a local card store near Top Sale Island, North Carolina and picking up, I think, maybe like 10 boxes and, and doing the video while on vacation in August. So they're moving that product up, which I'm fine with. We've got Owen White, blue right there. So that's Friday. And then just a few days after that, on Wednesday next week, it's going to be Platinum Anniversary. With the 1954 Tops design, I was already looking on Blowout's website. I think they're about $150 per hobby box. So I'm really looking forward to those. I, I uh, actually think about buying maybe some more retired player edition. There's $75 a box currently because it seems like retired player, once the inventory dries up a bit, it always goes up in price. We saw that this year with retired player active edition. Those boxes now are like $85 a piece, and they were like $70 when they came out. There is, by the way, Bobby Witt Jr., currently the... Favorite for the MVP in the American League. We'll see, though, because there's other guys named like Juan Soto. You can't rule him out. He's having a great year. We'll see what happens. Bobby Witt with the power, the steals, the defense. He can do it all. There he is again. And our what not offer of the day today will be a really nice Bobby Witt opportunity for you, I think. Let's see what else we've got in here. Nothing else. Jeter Downs. Two packs left in the HEB video. So coming up again, we've got that 
Bowman HTA Choice case. Once that sold out, we've sold one box so far. Again, it's $100 off. If anybody else wants to grab one, I put them up on Patreon. If you'd like to sign up to grab a box, we'll do the whole case in one sitting in a preview video. We've got Throwback Thursday 2012 Tom's Friday. will probably be the new release preview day. Maybe also, maybe a face-off Friday. Maybe we'll double it up. Nick Gonzalez, Saturday's video will be a card show video. We got Max Scherzer numbered to 50. That's nice. Max Scherzer gold foil to 50. And Jordan Westberg in there as well. Really sweet. A couple cards right there. In those retail packs, we got one pack left in this, and then there's one little repack box left here. It's been kind of a kind of a repack week without anything coming out. Monday we had terrible repacks. Everybody got a refund on those. And uh, yesterday we had some state classy packs, which were freaking amazing. Still can't believe that there was a an Ichiro and Albert Pujols 2001 Topps Traded Rookie Card Gold graded in one of those packs. That card alone is worth well over $500, which was the price of one pack, plus all the other stuff that was in there. Stay classy. It's the standard for mystery packs. It usually gives you 1.5, sometimes 2x return on the value. Because Bryce has all the connects and was able to buy out large collections and pass them on to you guys for a great price in those awesome mystery packs. We've got J-Rod right there, Aaron Savali on the rainbow foil, Juan Soto. So really nothing too, too crazy. A couple nice numbered cards here and there. Got an Ellie De La Cruz rookie card on the ledger as well. Let's see. We've got Tyler Stevenson, Martin Perez in this next one. In this 2023 pack, which is the last one of this video, will produce final card of Shea Langoliers, who's really coming around. Might end up being one of the top three hitting catchers in the game by the end of the season. We'll see. So, Christopher, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'll throw you a couple extra hobby packs your way. Yeah, this was a, a previous whatnot offer. We'll just throw that into your stack. Three hobby packs for free. And uh, now, thank you for watching, everybody. I have a whatnot offer to read right now if you're already signed up on whatnot which a lot of you are i hope to see you in the whatnot live stream tonight a little after 9 p.m eastern time and if you're not signed up we've got a freebie for you first let's show you the uh the promo whatnot wednesdays we go live a little after 9 p.m every wednesday on the whatnot app so not on youtube but on whatnot and if you're not signed up if you use this link right here https whatnot.com Invite Jab's family, type just like that. I also have it linked in the description to make it super easy. You just click on it. And then fill out all the information, your shipping information, address, and all your payment information, like your credit card number, so that you they, it's, it's super easy to pay on whatnot. You just swipe, and then it automatically just comes off your credit card. You don't have to do anything. The in-purchase function is really, really easy. But if you're not signed up, we've got a freebie for you, and it's a good one. It is a sealed blaster box of 2022 top series two these boxes they were 25 when they came out and there's some good chasers in here the in the base rookie set you got o'neill cruz and spencer strider which are nice but the short prints are the big ones you got bobby witt jr j rod and spencer torkelson short print and the super short prints which we pulled out of series two of j rod was amazing bobby witt's a big one i think that this product is going to be going up in price you see that uh, it might rival 2022 tops update with the J Rod and Bobby Witt possibility, especially Bobby Witt. If he wins the MVP award, you saw what happened with 2018 tops update last year. That doubled, almost tripled in price from the beginning of the season until the end. Uh, this box is going to be hopefully worth something, um, but you get it for zero dollars if you're new. So I will list it in my store for fifteen dollars, and then with the fifteen dollar credit you get from using that invite link, it will take it right down to zero. And then the only thing you have to pay is the shipping. So. If you're already signed up on whatnot, you can. I'll still sell these to you for fifteen. But if you're brand new, you can have it for free. So if you got a, you know, wife, girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, whatever that is not on whatnot, and you'd like to say, hey, sign up for whatnot, give me this box, you can go ahead and have it for free. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday evening, and we'll see you on whatnot here in a little bit. Good night, everybody.